Hey everybody, welcome into Delmarva Sports Insider, the only live and local show dedicated to sports all the time right here on the shore. I'm Brandon Bosser. Trayvon has the night off, but we have plenty to get to tonight as football practices begin here on the shore. As the fall season draws near in Delaware, which athletes will be wearing masks and who won't? What are the next steps for DIAA? And we'll break that down a bit later, but first, we begin with the dramatic conclusion to the Summer League down in Snow Hill. Let's pick things up with the semifinals. We've got Cross Academy and Laurel on court one. Antoine Wilson driving down the floor, sharing his caring right here, folks. Wilson gets it back from Elijah Creedle and lays it home. Later, Wilson again with the rock. He's taking it all the way himself. Euro stepping his way by Laurel. He finished with 28 points. Cross with great ball movement throughout and they would begin to pull away from there. This is actually a video we are going to see a little bit later on in the show. Let's get back to those highlights now. Uh, we were talking about the uh, game down in Snow Hill. We were talking about semifinal action. Well, Cross was actually able to take care of business against Laurel, so let's move on to the next story now. We've got, I guess we're moving on back. Here we go. There's Antoine Wilson once again. We're going to see that again. Uh, getting the ball back and, and laying it in. Then Antoine Wilson, he's going to Euro step his way through the defense like we said before, and they are about to uh, pull away right here. Jordan Butler with the nice touch on this basket and Cross really showing their athleticism in this one. Nightbeer Griffin had his way in the paint, but Laurel without Kylese Wilson just had no answers for Cross in this one. Academy goes on to win by 30 points. So let's see who they would face in the championship game. They would play the winner of Youth Care Center and Team Self Made. This one was close throughout in the first half. We pick it up in the second. Nice drive and bucket by Takai Huggy there. He finished with 14. Nobody stopping Christian Davis when he's forcing his way to the rim. Self Made making a run to start the second. Here's a long outlet pass to Huggy right here. The sweet finish off the glass and Self Made increasing their lead to double digits. And that worked so well before, let's get right back to it. Huggy with the finish, and Selfmade takes care of Youth Care Center. They win 49-40. to And so it's on to the finals now. So to the title game we go. Could Team Selfmade upset Cross Academy? Let's get right into the action. Jace Hudson taking the rock all the way himself right here. Watch the acrobatic finish at the rim. No look, sensational play by Hudson falling to the floor. Cross was ahead from the start. Self-made putting up a fight. Zakai Smullen puts up the floater, gets the friendly bounce to go. Cross opening up a lead in the second half now. Jordan Butler gets it in the paint, slams it home with two hands there. Then Y high transfer, Taiwan Hardy battling in the paint. There's the hook shot. Down it goes for Hardy. How about the other transfer from Y high? Antoine Wilson showing off the range there. Cross pulling away in the finals, and they would go on to win by 20. There's the exclamation point on an incredible tournament for Cross Academy. They take it over self-made, 71 to 51. We have our ups and downs, but overall it's easy, it's fun, and it's a great environment. This was more conditioning for us. You know, we haven't been practicing or, or anything like that. Just get the guys together during the summer and try to build some chemistry. But most of all, just to get in shape and uh, because we have so much talent on this team. As you can see, we ran through this league. So um, our, our main goal was just to get, get these guys in shape. Man, they sure did run through this league. The first takeaway from this tournament is that Cross Christian is loaded with talent on their starting five. Now, we knew that they were good when we heard about Antoine Wilson and Taiwan Hardy making the move from Y High. And then to add Elijah Creedle from Smyrna and Corey Mumford from Laurel. And Corey Mumford played a big role in this game as well. The only question was, how well would these guys mesh together? Well, after talking with their coach after the tournament, this team is all about getting more exposure for some of the best talent in the area and taking on some big name competition from around the Mid-Atlantic area. So we won't see them competing in DIAA, but hopefully this gets those guys some more looks nationally. Also got to give some credit to Team Self Made though. Bennett Kids showed us a lot in this tournament and the Clippers should be causing a lot of headaches this winter in the Bayside South. 
All right, we're changing topics now. Practices beginning in Delaware this week for football, but the bigger news is that girls volleyball players will have to mask up once again this year. But what steps are DIAA taking with the mandate coming from the state, and what have they learned from last year? Well, we spoke with the DIAA chairman for this week's insider interview. Practices actually started uh, last Friday. So football practices in the state of Delaware are going on right now in just about every school except for maybe a half a dozen. So they've already started and uh, next week all other fall sports will begin. And right now, based on the governor's guidance of these two emergency regulations and DIAA regulations, the only difference that we're going to be facing is that volleyball players, coaches, and anyone else indoors will be wearing a face covering during practice and games. Uh, it, that would not be within our purview to say that, uh, for example, uh, fall sports volleyball is our only indoor uh, interscholastic sport. We, we would not have the ability uh, by statute to, to overrule uh, emergency regulations from DOE and DHSS that mandated, you know, statewide. But I can tell you personally, I've advocated for this for the last 18 months. I don't believe it's in DIAA's best interest or in kids' best interest for us to overregulate or be more restrictive than what is, uh, what is the guidance from the scientists at DPH and CDC guiding our elected officials uh, to make the decisions that they make. Although now with this new guidance, we, uh, we're in a position where it may behoove us to put in an emergency regulation. We could be in the same spot again if we make it so specific uh, something along the lines of saying masks shall be worn and that's in regulation if the governor said in two weeks masks are no longer needed indoors it would probably take us at best you know five six seven weeks in order to change that through the regulatory process of repealing parts of an emergency regulation mm -hmm. so uh, a lot of bureaucratic tape is is what can hold up a lot of these decisions Definitely. I've, I've certainly learned more about that in the last 18 months than I ever did in my, my previous seven years in serving on DIAA. Absent of any CDC change in their uh, recommendation, CDC currently does not, uh, does not uh, recommend masks for outdoor gatherings and neither do either the emergency regulations from DOE or DHSS. Mm -hmm. So. I do not foresee that as uh, an item for discussion. Of course, between now and next week, CDC may change their mind, and, and, and so may uh, the folks at DPH. But uh, in our communications with DPH, I don't think that they're looking to put anything to be more restrictive than the current CDC guidance. A lot to go over with DIAA. Now, they will be held, holding a special meeting this Thursday to discuss adopting an emergency regulation in COVID-19 health and safety requirements for the upcoming sports seasons. And that meeting will be held virtually Thursday at 9 a.m. And that'll do it for the A Block. When we come back, we are checking out an all new After the Whistle. Keep it right here. Hi, I'm Amanda Ballard, and I'm from Parkside High School, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.